So how can we change this? We can't resolve this crisis with fossil fuels. We can't drill, baby, drill. Present-day fossil fuels, putting aside any effects on the climate, create 7 million dead per year. This is directly through the health effects of fossil fuel air pollution. Every decade, the same number of dead as the total deaths from World War II. The cost of fossil fuels are crippling the world economy. Five trillion dollars a year in direct costs equal to half of global manufacturing output. This is like taking the manufacturing output of the United States, China, and Japan and sinking it into the ocean. The true cost of fossil fuels has been estimated by many sources as approximately $10 trillion a year. We need higher energy density. Every time humanity has advanced in its technology, it has been by making energy denser, getting more energy out of less mass. Right now, we are consuming 14 billion tons of fossil fuels, two tons per capita. To advance, we need a denser energy source. Tired of inflation, wars, and inequality caused by the energy crisis? LPP Fusion is developing a solution that could allow everyone to have cheap, clean, off-grid, and sustainable fusion energy. Invest now as we seek to bring this potentially life-changing technology to market. For more information, visit lppfusion.com. This is a comparison of the amount of mass needed to produce a given amount of energy. At the beginning of the modern period, we transitioned from a wood-based economy to coal, then oil, and gas. So you notice a doubling and then a tripling of energy density. That is the key change that allowed the development of modern technology. We'll be talking about these little squares here. This is the amount of fusion fuel, five kilograms, that's needed to produce the same amount of energy as these thousands of tons of fossil or wood fuel. Solar and wind, which have been discussed as alternatives are also very dilute energy sources. For wind and solar both, you need about a thousand tons of material to produce a megawatt of continuous power. A billion tons of, per year would be needed for one terawatt. And to produce that amount of, of uh, new energy would need about five trillion dollars per year. So again, Solar and wind, as base load, not intermittent sources, are extremely dilute and extremely expensive sources. So what is the alternative? The only alternative, actually, as a much denser source of energy is fusion energy. Now, fusion energy is the power that drives the universe. It's the basic source of energy for stars like our sun. It's the densest form of energy known, and it is possible to achieve this energy source by 2030. Now, that sounds crazy because, of course, people who know anything about fusion energy know the joke that it's the energy of the future and it always will be, or it's always 50 years away. Well, this is based on what I call the old approach of, to fusion, which also is not energy dense. If you look at the dominant international fusion projects, they're the National Ignition Facility, which at the moment holds the record for fusion energy production, and the giant Tokamak, which is under construction in the south of France, and it's called uh, in French, eater, because it eats everybody's budget. 
Um, you can see for scale the human beings in the uh, laser that supplies the National Ignition Facility. You probably can't see the little guy here, so we put him in a circle. It describes the scale of the Eater Tokamak if it ever is built. Uh, last year I was at a conference at the Eater site. I could not get far enough from the site to fit it in its entirety within the view of my uh, cell phone. And I could only compare it in scale as a cross between uh, a Star Wars Death Star, star set, except it's real, and the pyramids. This is an enormous uh, enterprise. And by coincidence, if functional, it too would use resources at a rate of about 1,000 tons per megawatt.